In the last few lectures, we have completed series and parallel clipper circuits. Now I will explain working of combination clipper circuit. So what is combination clipper circuit? It is combination of the biased positive clipper and biased negative clipper. It is combination of biased positive clipper, biased positive clipper and biased negative clipper, biased negative clipper when we have biased positive clipper and biased negative clipper in the same clipper circuit we call it combination clipper circuit this is the example of combination clipper circuit this branch here is acting as biased positive clipper and this branch here is acting as biased negative clipper I will analyze this circuit and try to obtain the output waveform for the sinusoidal input we have in this problem VI is the input voltage and VM Vm is the maximum or peak value of input voltage for the negative half for the negative half minus of Vm is the value of peak voltage this resistance here is the series resistance and this resistance is load resistance series resistance is much smaller as compared to the load resistance so drop across series resistance is nearly equal to zero we can use this during our analysis and if I only consider Vb1 if I only consider this DC voltage source present in this circuit I will find the direction of current is like this and it is opposite to the direction of arrow in the symbol of diode D1 so diode D1 is reverse biased diode D1 is reverse biased by this potential source and if I only consider VB2 present in this circuit then direction of current will be like this which is opposite to the direction of arrow in the symbol of diode D2 so VB2 is also reverse biasing diode D2. Now I will calculate the output voltage VO for the first half cycle from 0 to T by 2. You can see input voltage is positive in this half cycle. So plus minus will be the polarity of input voltage and direction of current will be clockwise. This direction of current is matching with the direction of arrow in the symbol of diode D1. So VI vi is forward biasing the diode d1 and this direction of current is opposite to the direction of arrow in the symbol of diode d2 so vi is reverse biasing the diode d2 during this half cycle diode d2 will be reverse biased because vb2 and vi both are reverse biasing it so diode d2 will always remain in reverse bias condition and i will replace it with open circuit I will replace it with open circuit I am considering the ideal diodes in case of D1 VB1 is reverse biasing the diode while VI is forward biasing the diode let me write this down here in case of diode D1 it is reverse biased by VB1 but it is forward biased by VI so there is competition between VB1 and VI and we have two conditions because of this in the first condition in the first condition if VI is smaller than VB1 diode D1 is reverse biased and if VI is greater than VB1 diode D1 is forward biased and in both the conditions diode D2 is always reverse biased diode D2 is always reverse biased now I will calculate the output voltage VO for these two conditions in the first condition both the diodes are reverse biased so I will open circuit the diode D1 also I will open circuit the diode D1 also and output voltage VO is simply equal to VI because drop across this series resistance is nearly equal to zero so the output voltage is simply equal is simply equal to the input voltage for the next condition when D1 is forward biased and D2 is reverse biased I will replace D2 with open circuit and D1 with short circuit D1 will be replaced by short circuit and you can see voltage across this load resistance is equal to VB1 so output voltage output voltage is equal to VB1 for the second case we have the value of output voltage now we can easily plot the output waveform 
let's say this voltage is equal to VB1 and this voltage is equal to VB2 I will extend this point like this and this point like this so that we can plot the output waveform properly when input voltage VI is smaller than VB1 the output voltage is equal to the input voltage so this is how the waveform will look when the input voltage is smaller than VB1 and when input voltage VI is greater than VB1 the output voltage is equal to VB1 so we have constant voltage equal to VB1 for this time interval and this is how the output waveform will look for the positive half cycle now we will find out value of output voltage for the negative half cycle the polarity will change minus plus and also the direction of current the current will now flow in anti-clockwise direction and if I again if I again draw the two diodes D1 and D2 this is how they will look and you can see direction of current is opposite to the direction of arrow in the symbol of diode D1 and direction of current is similar to the direction of arrow in the symbol of diode D2 so VI will now reverse bias diode D1 and it will now forward bias the diode D2 the diode D1 is reverse biased by VB1 and also by VI in the negative half cycle so from T by 2 to T diode D1 is reverse biased diode D1 will always remain reverse biased and in case of diode D2 it is reverse biased by VB2 but it is forward biased by VI so we have two conditions when VI is smaller than VB2 diode D2 is reverse biased and when VI is greater than VB2 diode D2 is forward biased in this condition the output voltage is equal to the output voltage VO is equal to VI very simple and in this condition the output voltage is equal to VB2 now we can easily plot the output waveform for the negative half cycle when VI is smaller than VB2 we have same output waveform as the input waveform and when VI is greater than VB2 the output voltage the output voltage is equal to VB2 so we have constant voltage throughout this time interval and it is equal to VB2 so this is how the final output waveform will look for this problem and you can see we have clipped the positive portion of the waveform and also the negative portion of the waveform so we call it we call it combination clipper circuit because it is combination of positive clipper and negative clipper and there is biasing in this circuit so we call it combination of biased positive clipper and biased negative clipper I hope this is clear to you how to plot the output waveform for the combination clipper circuit if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one